So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I'm finally going to talk about the farming capabilities of Evara. So you guys have been asking about this video for a very long time and there are a few reasons why I've delayed it for as long as I did. So reason number one is bad luck slash and or my laziness because it took me a long bloody time to actually get this frame. And reason number two is well when I finally got this frame and I started playing around with mods I realized there is way too much interaction going on between all the different stats and prowl. And it was pretty hard for me to balance out power duration, efficiency and range while staying above 100% power strength. Now there is no point in me showing you the build I'm using in this video because I'm not very happy with it, alright? It's alright, it's okay, it's not bad, you know, it works for farming but the drain on prowl is a little bit too high and um, it takes a while to steal from the enemy so it could use more power duration. But on the other hand, I really like the range you get on Prowl with this build, and that's kind of the problem with Prowl. If you want to balance it out, you will sacrifice something. If you lower power duration, it will increase the energy drain and the time it takes to steal an item from an enemy. If you lower efficiency, it will once again increase the energy drain, but not only from being in Prowl, but also from attacking enemies and it will take more energy to get into Prowl. If you lower range, you will have to follow the enemies around very closely and bump into them constantly because but they will just wander out of the range of Prowl and if you lower strength below 100% your chance of getting an additional loot roll from an enemy goes down with it. Now when you finally figure it out and you balance out the build, is it any good? Most definitely yes. And I'm gonna be pretty ballsy over here and say that Ivara is probably the best solo farming frame you can play. And she's also the most reliable farming frame out of the three. And why do I say that? Well, first of all, you're pretty much invincible as long as you're playing it smart. Because, you know, this is a farming setup, so you'll be getting a ton of energy orbs. So you can stay in Prowl pretty much indefinitely. And if anything happens and you run out of energy, you just hide for a bit and you pop an energy restore and you're fine. If you want to do a high level mission with the Necros or you want to stay in a survival for an hour plus, you either need people to defend you or you can't desecrate all that much. And it's because Necros is just too damn squishy and if you're using Despoil, you're constantly losing health as well. And even though Ivara is really squishy as well, you are in stealth. No one's gonna shoot at you. And Hydroid's Pilfering Swarm is just unreliable. First of all, the tentacles actually have to spawn on the ground instead of on the ceiling or on, on a wall or somewhere. And then they actually have to ensnare the enemy. And let's face it, more often than not, they will not be ensnared by them. So Ivara's Prowl is more reliable than Pilfering Swarm. It's actually more reliable than Desecrate as well. Because once you kill an enemy, you have to desecrate them. If you don't, the body just disappears. With Ivara, you can stay in Prowl for as long as you want and sniff their buttocks until they drop loot. Now the best thing about Ivara's Prowl is that it stacks with Desecrate and Pilfering Swarm. So your Ivara can stand in the middle of a Pilfering Swarm and suck out all the loot as the enemies flail around in it and once they're dead, your Necros can Desecrate them. And if you really want to go big dick farming, you can have them killed by Chroma's Effigy as well. Now how many drops are you actually gonna get from Prowl? I really want to say a lot, but maybe it's just the way it's done. You run up to an enemy, he drops something, you pick it up and you see it every time. But since the steal chance from Prowl has a 100% chance to grant you an additional loot roll, as long as you steal from the majority of enemies, you're pretty much doubling your drops. Now I did some testing with Evara in survivals, you know, to kind of figure out how many items I'm gonna get in 10, 20 or 30 minutes and I've come to the conclusion that it's completely pointless because it's dependent on the enemy AI. If the AI decides it wants to group up, you're gonna steal a ton of items in a short amount of time and you're gonna get amazing results but if it decides to spread out, you have to run around the room and since you're in Prowl, you're slowed down and it's not gonna be as good. So Ivara, with her Prowl, she's the safest and the most reliable farming frame you can run solo. She also works very well with a group, whether it is a farming group or a regular one. And if you get tired of farming, there is plenty of different builds that you can use. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you next time. Bye bye